Okay, I'm going to pick up where I left off on the notes today in class and let you finish them tomorrow when the sub is there. <clears throat> we talked about decomposition of binary compounds. Let me review that really quickly. So if we had potassium chloride, it would decompose into potassium and chlorine gas. And we need to make sure this is balanced here. We see we only have one um, chlorine and here we have two. So we have to put a two over here, which then throws off our potassium. So this is a binary compound decomposition. Moving to the next type here, we have the decomposition of metal carbonates. And I'm going to take this and move the example down to here. We start out with calcium carbonate, which you know is limestone gravel. And it decomposes into calcium oxide and CO2. And this is common for all carbonates and this is the carbonate right here and if you look at it what happened is upon heating and I'm going to use a little triangle to show heating is it start if you were to watch this in the test tube it would start to shake and stuff and that is the CO2 leaving so if I just take CO2 away from CO3 that just leaves me with one calcium and one oxygen and what we can see here is if I did this with magnesium carbonate, heated it up, triangle again, it would decompose into magnesium oxide and CO2. So you're, you start with a metal carbonate. and it decomposes into a metal oxide and carbon dioxide. That is the same formula for each decomposition of a carbonate, metal carbonate. Next, I'm going to change colors here. And we're going to start with the decomposition of metal hydroxides. So I will pull that example down to here. And this is pretty simple. You start with a hydroxide, a metal hydroxide, and in the case of the example it is calcium hydroxide. You heat it again. Most of these are done by heat. And you end up with a metal oxide, just like we just previously did in the carbonate. And so you end up with CaO. But in this case, the second decomposition is product is water in the form of steam, so up a little G there for gas. These are ones you're going to actually have to put to memory. So hydroxides decompose into an oxide and water. So if I did this for sodium hydroxide at group one, you heat it, it will decompose into that and sodium, sodium oxide and again water as a gas. So if I go to balance this one, I forgot to balance the other one. All I got to do is put a two here because then I have two sodiums, two oxygens, and two hydrogens. Over here, it's already balanced. We got calcium, calcium, two oxygens because of the two here. 
So one, two, one, two, two hydrogens, two hydrogens, that's balanced. And the next decomposition is of metal chlorates. So I will bring that down a little farther here. So we start with a metal chlorate. And we heat that up. And we end up with a chloride and burn off oxygen. So we end up with a metal chloride, remember I tells you it's binary, and oxygen gas. So in our case we start out with two moles of KClO3 make sure to verify that and it's a solid these are all solids that they start out with add heat and we end up with potassium chloride and oxygen but then to balance that we have two chlor so we got to put a two here now we have six oxygens because I start out with two so I need to put a three over here to balance that so chlorate decompose in the chlorides and oxygen. And then the final one is the decomposition of acids, in this case oxyacids. Change colors again here. Let's go back to black. Bring down. So we start with a oxyacid and it decomposes into, as we can see here, CO2 and water into a gas, let's say that, and water. In this case we have carbonic acid C H2CO3 the gas that will boil off is CO2 and you're left with water so that's pretty much on decomposition those are the the five different types remember we start with one and with more than one product. Moving along, we're going to go to the single, start single replacement reactions. Single replacement reactions. Single replacement reactions means that one element replaces a similar element in a compound. You can do this two different ways. Cation, we can replace the cation, the positive side of this um, reaction, with another cation. So A comes over, knocks B out of the way, and you end up with AX plus B. Or we can have an anion replacement where Y is the negative part, or this is a nonmetal usually, and what will come over is Y will come over and knock the X out of the way, and we end up with a new compound. So we ended up with AX, BX, and BY are all compounds because they have two parts. Remember, A's and B's are cations, the positive part of the equation, and X's and Y's are anions, the negative part. So that's the quick general equation for single displacement reactions, and let's move on to the next.
So our first example is the replacement of a metal in a compound by another metal. Now, this is where you need to pull out your activity series. That is on the back of the polyatomic sheet you got earlier last unit. And in this case what happens is we start with aluminum, aluminum solid. If I drop it in a aqueous solution of lead nitrate, the aluminum will actually come over, remove the lead, and bond with the nitrate to become aluminum nitrate. And then what happens is you will get solid lead precipitating out to the bottom of the beaker. So that is a metal-metal replacement. Now, next thing that happens is a replacement of hydrogen in water by a metal. Alright, and I'm gonna take this and move it down here because we're gonna do a little more explanation here. So we start with two sodiums plus two waters to make sodium hydroxide and hydrogen gas. Now what happens here is let's just break, let's take, make it unbalanced. I start with sodium, it's a solid. But we're gonna make water look like this, H-O-H. -H. We still have our two hydrogens and our one oxygen. And we talked about this in class. Hydrogen looks like this, and so it can act in a couple of different ways. But in this case, what's gonna happen is sodium is going to come over, knock the hydrogen off, which leaves this OH behind, and then it creates NaOH. And this happens so many times in the solution that all these hydrogen ions are floating around and they have to pair up as hydrogen gas because that's how hydrogen exists in nature. And then the final one we did. We've done this already in class. Replacement of hydrogen in an acid by a metal. The case that we used was zinc. Took a solid. Put it in hydrochloric acid. Aqueous solution, which means it's dissolved in water. And we got out hydrogen gas and zinc chloride. Now, and that'll be dissolved in water. So, and we found that out because the hydrogen gas, we put it into a balloon and lit it on fire and it exploded. So basically, the zinc comes over, knocks the hydrogen off, bonds with the remaining chlorines and then hydrogen has to go off and find its other hydrogen so it can exist in nature. And we just did this here with magnesium. Take magnesium, put it into hydrochloric acid, it knocks the hydrogen off, hydrogen gas is form formed and magnesium chloride is further formed. So this is examples of single replacement reactions. So let's keep going. So when you get home tonight, here's your assignment. Or if you're watching this at home, Go to pages 276 and 284 and do these problems 18 to 21 and 22 to 23. Tomorrow 
we will discuss combustion reactions. And we will do methane bubbles to finish off the year. So do this assignment tonight, Tuesday. Be ready to turn it in on Wednesday. Thanks for listening.